Hey everyone, it's Blurry Eyes, and today, instead of doing a video about holidays or anything else like that, um, or any spiritual stuff, I'm going to be doing a video, um, possibly in two parts, discussing um, how my ex tried to spiritually traumatize me. <laughs> so... He, my ex, whom said his name was Dyson or whatever, tried to make me scared of an organization that people, most people, most people would know, well, would call the SCP Foundation or whatever. I don't know if that's its actual name, but whatever, it... The point is, my ex tried to make me scared of those people. So, here's how that happened, and what happened to snap me out of it. So, before going on to this story, I want to mention something. So, a few things that are important before I tell what happened. Um, one... For the longest time, I didn't know, like, I'd never heard of the SCP Foundation. I'd never heard of anything with that name. And since Puppet Strings never talked about them on her channel, or at least I hadn't seen any of the videos where she did talk about them, like, at all. Like, there was only one video about them, I think, on her channel, but that was brief. I didn't really know what they were. So, well, at least before my ex came into the picture, and yeah. So anyways, another thing that's important to note is that Puppet Strings disappeared online. Like, she was online for a bit, but then she disappeared. And people got worried about her, wondering what happened, and she reappeared a few years later, only to disappear randomly out of the blue again. Both of these times we discovered later when she posted that these were due to abusive circumstances that she had been going through, unfortunately. So there was cause for concern both times she left the internet. Without warning. But, um... Anyways, so this occurred around the second time she left the internet without any warning. Like, literally, she left the internet suddenly, and this wasn't her fault. This was due to abusive circumstances she was dealing with at the time. But it made a, me and um, quite a few of her other fans worry about her, I believe. So, anyways... Around October 2020, um, I'm just going to preface this by saying I was a naive person back then as far as internet safety came to be, and I didn't really practice it, unfortunately, um, the way I should have. And during around October... Um, a guy messaged me, like, but it was in my message, like, my Facebook, you know Facebook? Yeah. It was in my Facebook messenger request slash spam or whatever, and I should have left it there. But, like a naive dumbass, I didn't. And this guy said his name was Dyson, and yeah, he said he was a proxy for the pastas we're going to later find out he went but still he said he was and i being the naive dumbass and not having puppet strings around to ask whether he was or not believed him okay he also said some really scary shit like he said that the pastas and the fact that Puppet Strings was offline for a long time kind of made this believable in my head at the time. 
he basically told me that the pastas were being chased by the SCP people, the SCP Foundation, which I had no idea what it was back then. I was just like, oh, this is scary. I don't like it. And that they were trying to unalive the pastas. That's literally what my ex told me. He told me they were trying to unalive the pastas and made it sound like there were Christian extremists helping to try and do that. So yeah, I also became kind of scared of Christians for a while. But, um, December 15th, 2020, my ex, Dyson, he basically told me that the SCP people had brutally unalived, and he said this in details that I do not want to share because they're so horrible. He said that the SCP people had brutally unalived this guy! Slenderman. So, I understandably was upset by this, and he told me, he literally, like, he said that if I wanted to bring them and the other pastas back, I was going to need to meet him and like, do the things with him, and have a baby. And have a baby. In order to reincarnate Slenderman. So, yeah, for a few months, I actually believed what he said. Like, for several months, I believed what he said, and it was horrible. Like, he also told, like, he also never said what he looked like. He didn't have a profile picture or anything of that nature. He just had a little weird cradle bassinet pic. It, it was weird. It was a weird Facebook picture. He didn't have his real Facebook profile on it. He basically never said what he looked like. I didn't know what he looked like. I thought... And this is what he told me. He said he looked like he had, he said he looked sort of emo. He did, he did not say what he looked like exactly, but he said he looked sort of emo with like a scar on his face or whatever. And yeah, no. But um, we were in a relationship, quote unquote relationship, because he was being catfished the entire time. He, we were in a relationship from December 2020 to April 2021. And, yeah, during that time period, I talked less and less to my parents, which I was, like, I had been trying, we had been trying to reconnect with them for other reasons, like I had been, but, um... I talked more and more to him and became more and more scared that, like, of a lot of things, I became scared of um, getting the COVID vaccine because he kept telling me, oh, it'll make you infertile. And I'm just like, oh, okay, I have to bring my spirit guides back to life. So, um, yeah, he made me afraid of the SCP people to the point where um yeah it affected me horribly and I'm actually to the point where I have to do a part two to this but yeah as you can tell my ex is not a good person but um yeah I'll continue this in part two this yeah <laughs>